Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us if y is equals to square root of x plus 1 into x square minus root x divided by x root x plus x plus root x plus 1 over 15 bracket we have been given 3 cos square x minus 5 multiplied with cos cube x. And the question is further telling us to figure out the value of 96 times y dash of y over 6. So if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options are 101, 105, 35 over 32, and 9 over 32. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. Let's try to solve this question further. So if I first try to figure out the simplified form of this expression, let's try to simplify that part first. So I have that given as root x plus 1, x square minus root x divided by x into root x plus x plus root x. Yes. So we have been given this part. Let's try to simplify this. So root x plus 1 as it is. Here I can see I can take out root x common. So let's take root x common. So from the first part, if I'm taking out root x common, means x squared. And from there, if I'm taking x raised to half common, means out of 2 as the power, I'm taking half common. So you're left with x raised to 3 over 2. That is 1 and a half. It's left and minus 1. And denominator, if I see, I take out root x common. I get x plus. From here, if I'm taking root x common, I'm left with root x plus 1. So this root x and root x gets cancelled. Further, if I try to simplify this, I can write this also as x raised to 3 over 2. 3 over 2 means x cube and over 2 means you're taking square root minus 1 divided by x plus root x plus 1. So from here, if I try to simplify this, I get root x plus 1. This I can write that as root x cube minus 1. So you get a cube minus b cube, x plus root x plus 1. So once I have a cube minus b cube here, I can further write this as a minus b, a square, so root x square is x, plus a into b, so root x, plus b cube, which is 1, divided by x plus root x plus 1. If you haven't understood what I have done here for this two brackets, I have just used the idea which we have with us a cube minus b cube, which is a minus b, a square plus a b plus b square. So that basically gives you root x minus 1, and this becomes root x square, which is x, plus root x into 1, which is root x, and plus 1 square, which is 1. So you get this. Now, once I get this, no, I can check this bracket is same as this bracket. So this gets cancelled. And you have a plus b, a minus b, that's a square minus b square. a square is root x square, which is x minus b square, which is 1. So you get this expression entirely turning out to become x minus 1. Now, once I have this entirely turning out to become x minus 1, your y function becomes x minus 1 plus 1 over 15. 3 cos raised to 5x minus 5 cos cube x. And once I have that with me, let's try to find the first derivative. So my first derivative y dash becomes x minus 1. So derivative of x is 1 minus 0 plus 1 over 15. You get from here 3 into 5 times cos raised to 4x into derivative of cos x which is minus x minus 5 times 3 cos square x derivative of cos x is again minus x. So I get this entire thing and further if I try to solve it I get 1 plus 1 over 15 
15 and 15. So 15 common. You are left with minus sin x also I am taking common. Cos square x also I can take out common. So what you are left with? So from here minus sin x I have taken common. Cos square x also is I have taken common. So from 4 if I am taking cos square x out I am left with cos square x. So cos square x minus 1. So if I see this gets cancelled. You get 1 plus minus sin x into cos square x. So cos square x I am writing as it is. Minus sin I am keeping it inside and writing sin x as it is. So minus when I give it inside it becomes 1 minus cos square x and 1 minus cos square x we know from the identity that we can use here which is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. So I get from here sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. So from here I can write 1 minus cos square x as sin square x. So you get sin square x into sin x into cos square x. So that is multiplied and with that I add 1. So I get y dash 1 plus sin cube x and cos square x. And once I have that, the question is asking me to figure out y dash at x equals to pi over 6. So let's put at x equals to pi over 6. y dash becomes 1 plus sin pi over 6 which is sin 30. Sin 30 is half. So half cube cos square x. So cos 30 which is root 3 over 2. Squared. So you get 1 plus 1 over 8. Here I get 3 over 4. So you get 1 plus 3 over 32. And if I solve for this further, I get 32 plus 3, 35 over 30. So I get y dash of pi over 6. The question is asking me to multiply it with 96. So let's multiply that with 96. So 96 into 35 over 32. And if I try to solve this, I can write this as 32 once, 32 3 times. So you are left with 3 into 35, which is basically 105. So I get the answer for the question that is 105. And if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of finding the derivatives. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.